So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today I am actually in Ohio. Uh, and we actually got a few sprinkles on the windshield. Now the sun's back out. But uh, we haven't had any significant amount of rain in probably a month. Now I'm not to that point where I'm going to say we need, you know what, because the last time I said that, it rained for about two years. So I'm just kind of keeping my mouth shut. But anyway, I'm on my way to a Bennett trailer sales. If you remember a while back, I came over here and I bought a 18-foot uh, landscape trailer and it worked out really well. Well, I'm coming over today to buy another trailer that I've been wanting for the longest time. I really have. I think it'll be really handy, but I'm coming here to get a new dump trailer. Uh, when we get here, we'll kind of go over it and I'll show you some of their other trailers that they have here. And then when we get home, we'll kind of go over it from front to back, top to bottom. But a dump trailer is something that I've wanted for the longest time for several reasons. One for firewood, and I'm getting one that I hope will hold one full quart of firewood. I think it will, you know, just tossed in or dumped in. And if not, uh, I can put sideboards on it as well, so it won't be a problem. But one of the reasons I want one is you kind of hate relying on other people and other things, you know what I mean? And a dump trailer for me, you know, there's a lot of times I'll need just a couple tons of stone. And you'll call a place and they'll be like, yeah, we'll be there at two o'clock. And that turns into three o'clock. And then uh, we'll be there tomorrow morning. And and I just like to be able to handle things myself. When you have time, it'll be there. I'll be able to use it. Uh, but it'll really work out with the firewood for sure, hauling stone. You know, you got to haul something to the dump. Just all sorts of uses for a dump trailer. Now, for a while, I was kind of looking for an older one-ton dump. Uh, you know, maybe something with a 7.3 power stroke or something like that. And I never really found anything that wasn't rotted out. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and buy a dump trailer. And I'll be pulling it with this, uh, trying to figure out which way I'm going. I'll be pulling it with this F-150. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you need a three quarter ton. But uh, most everywhere I go, it will be short distances. And we have a stone yard, not three, four miles from our house. So it'll go there to get stone, delivering firewood, all that. So far with this truck, I've towed probably around 7,000 pounds, 8,000 pounds, no problems at all. And uh, with this trailer, I'm thinking I'll be able to haul about three tons in the trailer, but I'm gonna figure out all the weights and everything. Uh, but yeah, this truck here, this is an F-150. I did a video once before on this truck. It's a 2019 with the 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost. And I have always been a V8 kind of person. I always liked the five liter and the Fords. This truck here, way more power than that five liter. I know the horsepower ratings are about the same. I don't know if it's the torque or what it is, but this, this thing does really well. And this half ton here is way more truck than some of the old three quarter tons I used to have, work trucks, you know, years ago. But anyway, we're pulling into uh, Bennett Trailer Sales right now. And uh, so the sky looks good. And we'll get hooked up to this trailer, pay them, and be on our way. All right, I got the paperwork taken care of. I'm backing into the trailer now. And we'll hop on and give you a look. Tell you what, this camera on this Ford's pretty sweet. All right, that is the uh, 12 foot Mortz dump trailer. Really, really nice trailer, it is. Uh, we'll go over it all when we get home, but uh, right now we'll take just a quick drive around uh, Bennett's yard here. They sell a lot of trailers here. They're outside of uh, Salem, Ohio, if I didn't mention before. And if you call here, you need anything, ask for uh, Pat. They're all real nice people. Pat's the one I know. And uh, I got the other camera going here out the window. But yeah, Pat's a great guy. It's just effortless. Here's some more of those Mort's dump trailers right here. You can get them in red, gray, or black. I got a few extras on mine.
deck over. I think there's actually less here this trip than the last time I was over here. Can't really tell for sure. But they've got horse trailers, car haulers, equipment trailers, uh, all sorts of stuff here. But anyway, we will uh, get, get on the road now, head back to Pennsylvania. And uh, when we get home, we'll go over this trailer. I'll show you all the features and stuff that I know of. They went over everything with me when I was here. We'll see what I remember. But yeah, I think it's going to serve me well. Well, I've only been on the road for about 10 minutes so far, and I can already tell this thing pulls like a dream. Nice and smooth, trailer's nice and straight. And you know how sometimes, even with an empty trailer, you get this kind of bouncing thing? None of that. Pulls really, really nice. I think empty, uh, it weighs 3,760 pounds, and it's going to be licensed at about 10,000 or 9,950. So legally, I could haul a little over three tons in that trailer even with this truck right here very seldom will i ever put that much in it like i said maybe a load of stone from the uh, stone yard down the road here and there but uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm pretty happy with it so far but when we get home i'll go over it all it's a pretty nice trailer and it's got a lot of nice features very well thought out mortz has been building these things for a long time they got it figured out but anyway we're going to keep hammering down here get home and uh we'll see you in a bit all right, I just made it home and this trailer pulls amazingly well. It really does. We'll see how it does loaded, but uh, you literally don't even know it's back there, which is pretty surprising seeing that it weighs 3,760 pounds empty. But uh, I'm actually gonna go in the house, get a bite to eat, we'll get Melissa, and then we'll come out and kind of go over all the uh, features on it and just chat about it for a bit. All right, we had a little dinner. Now let's take a closer look at this dump trailer. All right, the inside width is 81 and a half. Twelve feet long, and the sides are two feet high. So that's 163 cubic feet if you would load it to the top of the sides here straight across so it'll definitely hold a quart of firewood which is 128 cubic feet stacked actually that's about 1.25 cords of firewood if you were to stack it in there all right melissa just came out to check out the trailer she made a delicious dinner of beef stroganoff one of our favorites what do you think of the trailer it's pretty nice oh it's everything i've ever wanted everything you've ever wanted yeah so we just determined that it's going to hold easily a quart of wood if it was stacked in there uh, I have to make a delivery actually tomorrow night, so okay. maybe when I get home tomorrow night, I'll load it up. I guess I could load it up during the day. Oh, really? I don't know. I mean, you know, that'd be nice. I have all my other stuff done. Yeah. So if you get okay, so tomorrow maybe Melissa will make a video loading this up with wood. I'm anxious to see how much it holds if it's just tossed in there. You know, you can put sideboards on it if you have to. I don't think we'll have to. I've got a full cord measured out down below there. We'll Am I? Am I stacking it or nope, just, just throwing it in? Okay. Throwing okay. it in loose and we'll see if it all fits. Am I going to drive this down there? I don't know about that after that Ranger incident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll go over a few more things on this trailer, like okay. uh, the tailgate setup, how it dumps. Uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, so the tailgate on this opens both kind of like a barn door. This will show you how. So just pull up. Now when you open them all the way up, yeah. you make sure it latches. Okay. Watch your fingers. And that pin drops in, it holds them in place. That way when you're dumping, you know, the doors won't swing down and yeah. you'll bend the doors all up. It works pretty slick, I like that. They were very clear to me when I picked it up that they have uh, spare doors on hand because guys don't latch those pins, they get in a hurry. So you picture you start dumping that trailer yeah. What's going to happen? Those doors are going to swing out, oh. and you're going to bend them all to pieces. They're real heavy duty, but uh, 
you'll bend them. So I like the barn door thing. While that's open, why don't you pull those two pins down there at the bottom. See those ramps down there? There's aluminum oh, yeah. ramps. I'm not sure how uh, long they are. And those are ramps, they will fit uh, anywhere along that uh, side. You can slide, they shouldn't be too heavy. Yeah, I think I could fit the uh, RK24 in there. No problem at all. Really? Yeah. Do you want this other one up? No. I just want to show them aluminum ramps. They weren't real heavy, were they? Um, no. I just wasn't sure what I was doing at first. You want me to put them back? This is going to be great for um, the friends that are like, hey, can you move a couch for me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, I can move everything. So that's it for the ramps. Now, if you want to pull those pins up that locked in place and close the doors, yeah. Uh, maybe the other one goes first. I'm not sure. Oh, I bet. I don't know. Piper doesn't like equipment. Slam it. Nice. Okay. But I first want you to know that I got caught in the rain today and humidity, so take it easy on my hairdo. Pull this pin and you push that out. And this arm actually moves the other side too and then yeah it works like a regular dump gate on a uh, dump truck that was me dumping it yeah see i need to learn all this in case i'm near like a garage door or something yeah daughter eve is joining us she's going to show us there's steps on each side of it if you want to climb up into bed make sure you hold on you don't slip What do you think? It's nice. Big. Be nice for uh, maybe maybe we could take you in like to homecoming in this or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty yeah, big in there. Put a liner in it and make it into a pole. Yeah, you could do that. You need help. Something else uh, worth a mention, there's D-rings in all four corners inside the bed for tying stuff down. I like that. You can also put sideboards on it. They fit right in there. And then all these little holes down here in the bottom, do you see those little, like down in the bottom? Oh, yeah. Right Point here. them out. They're hard to see. Here, here. Yeah. And here. And they're on the fender, too. Uh, that's for if you oh, want to yeah. tarp it. You know, okay. you can run bungees okay. down to that if you need to tarp your load. So it's got a really nice uh, diamond plate toolbox there. That's where the controller's in there to raise and lower the dump. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. What else is in there? Um, a packet of chains, a holy Bible. There's a Bible in there. Nice. Good for them. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, another book, Steps to Jesus. And then the trailer manual. And those chains and that chain. are in there, I think, are probably to, uh, so you can like tailgate material. You notice that the tailgate oh, only opens right, a little right. bit. Lay it on real nice. Very good. So I'm going to tell you my, um, I think this is nice. I think if you own a business and you want to hand out a Bible, good for you. And there, is it a family named Moritz? I don't even know. I'd have to look that up and see. They've been building trailers for years. I, I don't really know. Now pull that controller out of there. Yeah. Can you see up on there? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and hit up. Is it ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got the doors closed. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> oh. nice. So it's power up and down. 
it goes way up too. Okay, stop there. Yeah. Let's go around back. That's that'll dump anything. Okay. I've seen other dump trailers that are a lot lower to the ground. Yeah. And what happens is you can't get them up very high. Also, there's grease fittings on everything underneath, of course. Yeah, it really lifts way up. Yeah, it does. Firewood, anything won't be a problem at all. But even inside here are um a couple. Oh, you yeah. already said the D rings. Yeah. Okay. Now the D rings, there's no, 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 no. Come on, guys. There's one little downside to them, and it's not a big deal at all. You'd be surprised when you dump that. There will always be one or two pieces of firewood sitting on those D-rings because oh, it stops okay. in there, but maybe. But Come on. Dogs okay. are headed to the neighbors. Come on. Also has stake pockets. I don't know if I mentioned that. Nice feature there. What are they? They're stake pockets. So, in other words, you can put... Uh, you know, two by fours in here. If you want to put taller oh, the, sides yeah, on them. I, yeah, I was oh, looking, you thought I was talking about I was down in there. Here going, I don't see them. Yeah, steak pockets. I might okay. cut a couple nice pieces of like uh, white oak, something like that, that'll last on the sawmill. Put some nice sideboards on it, something yeah, like that. Yeah, to say outdoors with the Morgan. Yeah, I should do that actually. My guy. All right, okay. it's also powered down. I don't know if I mentioned that. You can go ahead and put it down. <laughs> And there's a uh, safety stand in there. You see up in that trailer, right up in there, that, that box? Yeah. If you need to work under there, you lift it up, and there's oh. a safety thing there because uh, you don't want to work underneath that. No, right. <laughs> you know, you don't want to work underneath that. That's, okay. Really, really heavy duty jack on that thing. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I want to mention right now. I'm sure I'll learn more about it over the next day or two and uh, we'll take it for a ride tomorrow night when I deliver a quart of firewood in it. And Melissa says she's going to uh, load that up maybe tomorrow if you have time. I, yeah, I will. But that was just one of those. So I got a question. If you, she is very busy, but if she has time and does it, how long, if I park this right next to the stack of wood as close as I can, how long do you think it'll take you to fill that up? It'll be one full cord. Tossing it from the ones that are down there? From, yeah. From the pile? No, from, from the, the stack. Um, um, 35 minutes, I'm guessing. I would, I would say, yeah. So enter, enter your guesses in the comments. How long do you think it'll take her to throw a quarter wood in here? So I think I mentioned on the way home in the truck that uh, this trailer pulls really nice empty. Like I said, it weighs 3,760 pounds as it sits right now, but it pulls straight. It's not bouncy, anything like that. Handles really well. Uh, probably tomorrow night I'll haul my first load of firewood in it. We'll see how it goes with that. But I think that's uh, about it for the initial look here. Uh, you know, I'll learn more about it and get used to it and be able to, you know, tell you more about it as I use it some. But so far, so good. I think it's a really good dump trailer. Do you have anything you want to add? We'll see how it loads and goes tomorrow. Yeah. Pulling it down, backing it up. I'll probably just maybe do that part. Oh, um, okay. And uh, what else? Oh, Paul Bunyan. Yeah. First weekend in October. That's Friday. not this coming weekend, the following weekend, right? Yeah. Right, this coming weekend, the last weekend of September. But Paul Bunyan is the first weekend in October, Friday, October 4th, yep. Saturday, October 5th, and Sunday, October 5th. Six. Yeah. We will be there Friday and Saturday, so come on out and we'd be thrilled yeah. to meet you. Yeah, we've met so many nice people at all these things we go to now, and uh, it's been great. And it's at the uh, Guernsey County Fairground outside yeah. Cambridge, Ohio. We'll really there. good woodlot forestry show kind of thing. But yeah, we'll be at uh, Wolfridge's. Yeah. Space. And I'm not sure where that's at exactly yet, but I'll let them know. Okay. Later on. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, it's starting to get dark. Piper's ready to go to bed, actually. She's giving Melissa that look. So, uh, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.